Okay, I think everybody did an excellent job. Really impressed with all of the storyboards you've seen so far. We have a, at least one more next week. Well, one more next week. Still to come. However, um, let's just as a class discuss what we like, what um, works, what doesn't work, and, and um, also just kind of figure out what we could do to in terms of animate it, make it come out as impressive as possible. So just from your guys' standpoint, which of the storyboards, or all of the storyboards are very nice, but what do you like about each individual storyboard? I like the second one, the story. Yeah, because I really like how vivid the colors are, because I feel like that usually is what like yeah. makes it, you know? So I really like that aspect of it. It's really cool. I would agree. I would agree. Um, what else? I mean, I like the owl one. It's like I like that it's an actual board. It's like, it's <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. Out. The first panel kind of reminds me of Angry Birds from over. So <laughs> right. Like, Those things with like like eyebrows and it's like. <laughs> She comes over, she's like, angry birds! I was like, no. Not quite. <laughs> oh, God. It's really funny, though. Yeah. That is, that's cool. Just from back here, it does, but. No, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I didn't even see that until now. You just. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I agree. Um, I have a few comments as well. What about the, the last one you tried? You know, talking about? Yeah. I like the perspective change, like when it goes from a regular view to inside the dragon's mouth. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, because I don't think yeah. any other ones have that. So. No, that's like, it's pretty cool. The one where it just shows the dragon's butt. Yeah, it's, cute. it's like it's like a cool panel from like a comic strip or something. Yeah, like, that'll be really awesome. I think so too. All right, uh, that's excellent, excellent feedback. You guys are really observant. One, the main thing I wanted to get across, and I kind of pushed, and this isn't, you know, chastising anybody, but. The color really does make it pop off a lot. So you want to take that into consideration when you're when you're drawing your storyboard, not only for the class, but just in terms of a presentation, because if and there may be one time or another you're bidding for a job, you have to hand in your portfolio to get selected for a program and those types of things. And those are people notice that. Because if I was to say, you know, hey, well, which one of these do I want to Give which is going to catch my eye first, you know, it goes right here because all the color and everything. Yeah. That doesn't mean that it's necessarily the most creative, it doesn't mean that it's the best, it just means that, hey, I mean, my eye just goes right here, so that's important. Um, what I like about this one is it's very simple. Yeah. The, the design and everything is perfect for Flash because the drawing tools aren't super complicated. So something like this would be very doable in the time period that we have, but at the same time, it's not super simple. It's not like South Park or something. You know yeah. What I mean? It's like it'll take it'll, some time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I like the I, the the fact that you are working within your parameters. I think it's very realistic. You know what you're trying to do and what you described you were going to do with yeah. this. So I think it's really good. I'd love to see some color on it as well when you when yeah. you have time. And that's not me being hard on you. It's just I think it'll look even cooler you know, if, yeah. you, if you do that. I agree. OK. Um, this one is really good. I love the detail. I love the attention to detail. The color, we already you know talked about that. That really makes it pop. Very creative. I like the mermaid. Um, everything is. Um, really, really nice on it. I think that you're going to struggle with keeping it simple, you know what I mean? And trying and, and pulling everything together in the amount of time that we have. Yeah. So as you're preparing to do that, we probably need to talk and figure out the most simple way. I may not, I, I probably wouldn't even consider doing a lot of complex animation, not that you were, but something like, like this when she finds the stone, maybe you could just have the background, have the stone, and have her 
and maybe just float her up and down just a little bit. Something that's like really simple. Like I think I told you like Speed Racer. I don't know if you guys have seen the old Speed Racer. Oh, man. Where they just like frame by frame and then they animate it a little bit enough for you to get the idea. But they're not trying to, you know, do Cinderella or something, you know. So, but I think it's really good. And I definitely think you can pull it off. I like the colors. I like the way their hair matches her. Yeah. Her bikini or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> her, uh, her fins. So, nice job. Good, very creative. Um, I, li I love the dragon one as well. Uh, with this too, the color, I think it, not only do I think the storyboard could use a little bit more color, but I would consider when you're doing the animation, I don't want to inhibit your creativity, you know what I mean? I don't want to tell you to do it, if you have a certain vision, do stick with your vision. But um, at the same time, I think this would pop a little bit more, because I know that you said you wanted the dragon to be black and white. Did you tell me that? Yeah, I, it's, it was like a character thing rather than like a color thing. That's like the only one that I can draw consistently. Yeah. So. Well, I, I mean, change it. it's not no, the dragon is fine. I'm just, you may just play around. Once you draw the dragon, you may, you may play around with the colors. That, that's it. You may not. I mean, you may just say, okay, you know what? Forget it. I like black and white. I mean, I'm not going to hold that against you. I'm just trying to, like, looking at it, it's hard for me to visualize the color, yeah. the, you know, the background and everything the way you have it in color, and then the dragon being black and white. Even if you just did, like, maybe. I can do, like, a you could do that, or the dragon maybe could be the off cream, or it could maybe the dragon could be white, but you could have like maybe like some little highlights or shadows or something, or yeah. something just to, which you might have already planned to do. I don't know. That would that would definitely help it out. But I like the, the what like they said the inside of the mouth and the different views. You really like the way that you drew this is really like a a comic strip or, or like a movie. You know, like these types of things happen in movies. I don't. And it's, it's a little bit of a different, it's more thinking out of the box, you know, when you're actually drawing this, like setting up shots. Not, um, not everybody does that, but I think that that's really, really cool that you did. So, anyway, you guys did fantastic. So that concludes our critique. That's how we roll <laughs> in, uh, in Paradise Valley animation. So we're signing off. Peace. Peace. <laughs> All right. Good job, you guys. That was fun.